G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. I am going to do these gorgeous coasters with the crushed, druzy sort of <clears throat> look on the outside. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of resin into each. Probably going to do these in three layers. It's uh, about one centimetre, just under a quarter of an inch deep these these mold cavities so I've got enough room that I can do a few layers if I want to because sometimes you know when you're doing your 3d blooms it's really nice to have like more 3d petal looks going on if you do your petals in two layers you get a much more sort of 3d kind of a look so um, in here I have got I have got about a cup of resin. I did 125 grams of A and 120 grams of B. So one to one resin. It's the Let's Resin for our Fast Cure resin. Uh, it's, a, it's a thick resin which is great for 3D blooms because you either need to use a thick resin or you need to wait till your thin resin thickens up, okay, for your blooms. So make sure that we've pushed that to the edges everywhere. So it's this one. That's what it looks like for our demold. So that's that one. So there we go. I have got, I just divided that equally into my four coaster molds well as equally as I can I did put 25 grams in my little cup here um, and I'm going to do three drops I think of my bloom <clears throat> now depending on how opaque you want it um, on the back it says um, one drop of bloom per 10 grams of resin so if you've got 20 grams you do two drops if you've got 50 grams you do five drops but Look, it depends on how big you open that. You could open it twice if you want really big drops. Um, I just tend to open it once. Um, and then it depends on how, how hard you squeeze as well. So, um, you know, it, it depends. <laughs> um, and if you want a little bit, there's a hair, if you want it to be a little bit more opaque, um, then, you know, add an extra, oops, one, I think that's two. <gasps> That's three. <laughs> I squeezed it a bit hard. All right, let's see what that looks like. So probably three drops. Actually, I should do my um, ink first before I mix that. So what I did was I stirred my resin for four minutes and then I just let it sit for five minutes just to let the bubbles come up. Um, I didn't take its temperature or anything. So I'm using Ruby. This is from Deco Rom. I just get it on um, Amazon. It's pretty cost effective um, and deep purple. They spread nicely. They're not too highly, I haven't opened that one yet. They're not too highly concentrated, so they spread nicely. You get one of these that have got a little pin in it and you just poke that like that. Although don't, don't do it over your mold because it might spit everywhere. But yeah, don't cut the tops off them. I've seen people cutting the tops off them. Like, yeah, don't do that. Just get one of these. They usually come with one of these with a pin in it. If it doesn't, just grab one that's got, just grab a safety pin. All right, so we're going to go red in the centre. Now, what I want to do is I want to do four petals. Oh, that didn't work very well, did it? It must have had air in it. I'm going to do four petals and then when I come back and do my second layer, <laughs> I was going to say row and then it ended up with row layer, oh gosh, all right, so that's that done and then I'm going to put um, some of this purple, Not quite sure yet how this is going to work. I've never done this before, but I'm just going to try it. Keep the pressure on that way you're not getting air sucked in there. 
tends to kind of spit a bit if you've got some air in it. Okay, let's see how that's going to look. Now, let's give this another stir. It's a good idea to get your resin in, get your inks in, let them spread, let them, you know, move um, and stop moving before you start piping. Because if you, if your ink is still moving, um, your petals may get sort of all pulled out of shape. And I have done that, believe me, I have done that. And everything was like all wonky on the side. I thought, oh, what's going on? It's just, I think I put too much ink in and the ink was moving and it pulled my, my petals. All right, let's have a look at this. I think that looks quite nice. I don't like it to be too, too opaque, but I want it to be a little bit opaque. You can kind of see the stick through there if I tilt it. I'm trying not to stir too, too much, too vigorously, because I don't want to get bubbles in that. All right, so that's that. Um, you can get my Bloom pigment paste on my eBay store and also my US Amazon store for those of you that are not in Australia. All right, pour that into there. I like recipes. I do, especially when I'm cooking, when I'm doing resin. I like, you know, if it's 30 grams of resin, I know I need three drops of bloom. It's a bit tricky when, when, when you have to go digging into a tub of paste. You don't know how much you're getting, and more often than not, you're taking way too much. Um, and then, uh, you know, your, your white just drops down and you get all these blobs and the people go, why have I got blobs? It's because you've got, there's two reasons. You've either got too much white paste um, or your resin is too thin. It hasn't, you haven't thickened it up enough yet. So, yeah, a couple of reasons why you get the blobbies. But look, I have done so many videos on 3D blooms. That's looking so pretty. I could leave it like that. So yeah, check out my other videos. You're, you're sure to find some little helpful tips and hints because I've found so many. All right, push that down. Now, because I'm only going to do four petals, um, I, I, I want them to be relatively thick because I want them to really spread down. So I'm going to cut the whole, probably about four or five millimeters wide but let's check it first yep that's looking good you can always make it bigger if you decide you want it to be a bit thicker but you can't make it smaller all right move everything out of the way let's do this <gasps> let's do this oh my gosh make sure that that's not dragging you tuck that in you don't want that dragging into your into your resin all right here we go one, two, three, four. Hey, that's what I wanted to do. Gosh, I hope I've got enough white now. Basically just that. Let's wind this up again. I didn't think I'd need very much resin, you know, white resin, because I was only going to do four petals, but we'll see. Hopefully it's enough. And then I'm, hopefully I've got enough to do one more little thing that I wanted to do with these. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Gosh. Didn't put quite as much on there because I was trying to trying to ration it. Okay, now the other thing I want to do is I want to do three little dots in each one. Not too close to the centre because they are going to hopefully move into the centre. So I didn't want to put everything into the centre. Now, like when I do my um, fireworks, my little dots. So I'm hoping these are going to kind of just move into the middle a little bit, look, maybe look like stamens on a flower. 
probably should have made up <clears throat> 35 grams of resin instead of the uh, 25 but I thought oh, I don't need all that but look it's best to be best to be on the safe side and just have that extra 10 grams of white resin I am going to have enough but only just only just So yeah, hopefully this is going to look pretty and then when I come in with my next layer um, I'll sort of fill in the gaps between these four petals. I don't know if I want to do anything in the middle, I don't know. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of pull them in. So that they, and I may actually just do a tiny little swirl just so that they look, you know, they don't look too messy in the middle. Just a tiny little one though, just, just like that, just a tiny little, little one, just so that they're kind of just incorporated in the center so they don't look too, too weird. All right, and that's it. That's all I'm doing. Well, apart from a tiny little torch. Be careful not to over torch. It's got a tiny little torch, you can hardly see its little flame. Just popping a few little bubbles there. I had a bit of bubble in my white <laughs> as I was stirring. Got a bit of bubbly, so I can see I've got some bubbles in there, but that they're on this side, so you know they should be fine. So yeah, pretty much used all of that. Alright, so now we just have to wait. Um, I'll come back and do another layer so basically where this gap is here I'm going to put like another little petal in there um, so in there yeah we'll see we'll see what happens I may I may not but probably will my idea is to do that I always draw what I want to do first um, and then yeah, I just you know I can follow my drawing well as soon as I get an idea in my head I put it down on paper I think okay this is how I'm going to draw this this 3d bloom um, yeah, let's have a look. We'll go down and have a little closer look. Hopefully everything's going to kind of pull in from the, from the edges. Hopefully it's going to look pretty. It's starting to move already. All right. I'll see you in a few hours for the next step. Righto, it has been a few hours. Now... I am really in two minds about whether or not to add more petals and I'll tell you why. I'm just going to shine a flashlight in here. Look away if you don't want to see bright lights. Now see, I don't know if you can see, the, the top of the petal has only kind of spread halfway down and then those little stamens that I made are sitting there with no white background on them behind them can you see that now my concern is if I come in with another petal and I draw my petal across here and then across there and then down through there I am going to go right over the top of these stamens that I've hopefully made look really pretty and I think it's going to disrupt what's going on in here I could potentially just do a little petal across the tops here just to close them um, but yeah I'm, I'm thinking if if I do take my petals from here which is going to go right through the center of that stamen and ruin that and then back through the center of that one I think it's going to be ruined so I am just I've mixed up some resin and I was going to do another layer and pour and do white petals again but I think because it hasn't closed up all the way um, this you can see the white is there and then the rest of it is is clear I think when I do I'm going to do a dark purple background I think that 
area there is going to look stunning with the stamens on it so we'll have like a dark center there like dark purple and then up here we'll have dark purple as well and I just feel like that's what I need to do my compressor went off again <laughs> it does it at the worst times so I just had to start the video again um, so I'm going to use this one here vineyard or vineyard from just for you online UK it's really dark that's that's it there I would like it darker I'll see what it looks like when I've mixed it up uh, and then I may add a bit of black to it so let's add a nice big scoop like so and uh, yeah if it's looking a little bit too light I'll add some black so basically you can see the ruby that I put in there um, the deep purple kind of I guess you can see a little bit of it they're, they're quite similar but I was going to put some more of the purple around the edges so I'm not going to do that I'm just going to do purple background so we'll mix this up I'm just going to stir this for a few minutes so I've added another 125 grams of A, 120 grams of B, same resin, the Let's Resin Fast Cure. Uh, I will link Let's Resin down below for you. Uh, there's a coupon code as well. They've got a UK Amazon store, a US Amazon store, and then their regular store. <clears throat> and uh, there's a coupon code there as well if you want to use that. I think I think that'll be it'll be nice I mean if you make it really thin like you know on the side of the cup there it looks quite light but we're not going to have it that thin we're going to have it quite dark and I think I think that will look really pretty all right I'll come back to you once I finish stirring well done so while I was standing there stirring I'm thinking to myself how can I do this better next time and what I was thinking, because my white that I put down, my, you know, my piping, it only spread this far, which is pretty good. Like there's only a little bit of white resin and it's spread. So you could either put a thicker line and hope it spreads more, or next time I can do two layers or two rows. So the first row I could do like here, and I'm going to go five because I don't like um, even numbers. <laughs> I don't like even numbers so I'm going to do five and then put the stamens in into these here and then first layer again go over and do bigger ones over, over the top but only come to here so I'm not going to disrupt the stamens so what do you think we we'll do it again yeah we'll, we'll just see we'll just see what happens because at the moment I think that the area that the stamens are going to go on is pretty clear at the moment. I mean, it, it's got a little bit of colour in it, but it, I don't think there's any white resin there. I'm not sure. We'll just have to wait and see. Look at this. It looks almost black, doesn't it? It's so dark. Such a dark purple. And you probably can't see from all the way up there, <clears throat> but the edges of the petals have kind of mimicked this druzy crystal edge. So they're kind of a little bit jaggedy looking, which is really nice. If you didn't want that, use a round circle mould um, and then your petals will be round. Because whatever shape you've got on the outside, will um, the white resin will kind of take on that, that shape. It's interesting how resin does that. Now, we don't have to go all the way to the top. I will use what I've got here, but you don't have to go all the way to the top. Especially that I'm only doing two layers instead of three. I was going to do two and then just a really thin layer of the purple. But this is what we're doing. Changing halfway through. That's okay. <clears throat> Sometimes things don't go exactly to plan and you just make a new plan, which is okay your art you do what you want with it I have a little bit left over actually 
because they're all pretty full. This one could do with a little bit more, but the rest of them are looking pretty full. Might be able to get a couple of puffy hearts out of the rest of it. All right, <clears throat> there we go. I could fill them up a little bit more, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to give them a very light spray with some of my isopropyl alcohol, just like that. I see you, Bubble. I see you. Go away, please. All right, so that's pretty much it. Um, <clears throat> give that another four hours or so. And uh, then we'll unmould and see what we've got. Hopefully it's really pretty. I'm, I'm, I'm confident. I'm confident that it's going to be pretty. All right, see you soon. Okay, it's time. Let's do this. It's going to pop them all out here first. Hopefully everything's cured. Feels cured. Let's have a little look. Oh my gosh. I hope, I hope, I hope they're, um, I hope they look really pretty. I hope they look pretty. All right. Hope my bench is clean there. Uh, I, I will link this one for you if you're interested in this mold. See, it's got the, um, crystal edges there if you're interested in that mold I'll link that one for you down below Oops. <laughs> it's heavy I just dumped it over there oh shook everything sorry earthquake all right let's move these off to the side for now and concentrate on one at a time oh my gosh this is nerve-wracking oh I hope I've made the right decision I just hope I've made the right decision and without you know with because I didn't do the second layer. Oh, all right, here we go. Are you ready? Oh, wow. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> that is so cool. Can't see a lot of my color though. I can see a little bit of pink, but that's about it. Looks pretty, pretty black. <laughs> that looks pretty black. But look, it looks looks really 3D, like they're jumping out of the screen there. That is so cool. Yeah, pity I can't see any more of my colour, but I guess that's because I've done such a dark background. But it's still really pretty. All right, let's have a look at the next one. Okay, here we go. Oh, same thing. Oh my gosh, I should have, we did have a dirty bench there. I've got bits on the top here that is so pretty it's very different to like any of my other 3d blooms that I've done what do you think so this is what I was saying to you that bit there had spread um, and then I didn't want the white to be behind the little stamens because I didn't think that um, you know they would they would show up if I did have a have white behind them. There's the other one. Oh, that's so pretty. They're all they're all very much very similar, aren't they? They make a nice little set. I can clean off the other side. All right, last one. Here we go. And there it is. Wow. They are pretty much. <gasps> identical look at that wow who would have figured they would be so similar gosh it's hard to pick a favorite isn't it with um, them all being so similar I'm just trying to move them so that I can zoom in a little bit for you there we go all right let me know what you think of them do you like them should I have done another layer and put the petals behind this or do I just go again and do what I said I was going to do and do a double, do a smaller one, put the stamens in and then do another bigger one around the outside. And maybe not such a, um, a dark background. It, <laughs> it doesn't look purple, it looks black. But anyway, it was an experiment. 
I wanted to see if I could do these stomens in the middle and yes, I did them. So I'm very, very happy about that. I love the way these petals have spread. Uh, the stamens look really pretty in the center, popping right out. Love it. So very happy with that. And of course, we've got the, um, the gorgeous crystal edge there. So yeah, very pretty. Very happy with it. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Let me know what you think of these. <laughs> All right. Definitely going to do this again with this stamen idea. Love it. All right. Thanks again for watching. Love you all. I'll see you all real soon for the next one. Bye for now.